With a reign of almost 70 years, Franz Joseph was not only one of the longest reigning monarchs in history, he was also the longest reigning monarch of Austria. His long reign began back in 1848, after the outbreak of the Hungarian Revolution and the abdication of his uncle, Emperor Ferdinand. His long reign helped to shape his empire into a dual monarchy, but also to mark his impact on his territories. His death occurred in 1916 in the midst of the First World War and two years shy of the end of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. As his only son Rudolf tragically committed suicide in 1889, he was succeeded by his grandnephew Charles. Charles was the grandson of Franz Joseph's third brother, Archduke Karl Ludwig. But the early death of his only son was not the only tragedy the emperor had to suffer. His second brother, Maximilian, who became Emperor of Mexico in 1864, was assassinated by a firing squad, ending the brief Habsburg rule in Latin America. Then there was Franz Joseph's youngest brother, Archduke Ludwig Victor, who was openly homosexual and caused many scandals to the point that he had to leave Vienna. In today's video, we will be focusing on the lives, tragedies, scandals, and deaths of Franz Joseph's three younger brothers. Franz Joseph was joined by a younger brother on July 6, 1832. The boy was named Ferdinand, Maximilian, Joseph, Maria, in honor of his uncle and his maternal grandfather. To history, he is best known as Maximilian, which is how I will call him throughout this video. As the second-born son, Maximilian lived in the shadow of his elder brother, Franz Joseph. This would lead to Maximilian to try to surpass his brother in every aspect. This behavior would eventually lead to a rift between the two brothers. Maximilian's education was strictly supervised. He was educated in history, geography, law and technology, languages, military studies, fencing, and lastly, diplomacy. By the age of 17, he was required to study up to 55 hours per week. In 1848, revolutions broke out across Europe. This eventually led to the then Emperor Ferdinand, who was Maximilian's uncle, to abdicate the throne in favor of Franz Joseph. Maximilian accompanied his brother on campaigns to put down the unrest. During these campaigns, Maximilian saw many men being executed, which left a mark on him. Maximilian would eventually enter military service within the Austrian Imperial Navy. This would enable him to visit many places in Europe and across the ocean. One such trip brought him to the Belgian court in Brussels, where he would meet Princess Charlotte of Belgium, the only daughter of Belgian King Leopold I. They fell in love and were married on July 27, 1857. Shortly before the wedding, Maximilian was named Viceroy of Lombardy, Venetia by his brother. The couple settled in the royal palace of Milan, but Maximilian's service in Italy was short-lived. After ongoing public unrest, Maximilian was removed from his position by Franz Joseph after only two years. As fate would have it, another opportunity for Maximilian would soon appear. After the first Mexican Empire failed, Mexican royalists were on the hunt for a suitable European royal to rule their country. Maximilian eventually agreed and while still in Italy, he was declared Emperor of Mexico. Maximilian and Charlotte, or Carlota, which is the Spanish version of her name, arrived in their new country in 1864. What the two found was a nation divided into liberals and conservatives. Maximilian's reign was shaky from the beginning, relying on French military support. The U.S. did not recognize the Second Mexican Empire and supported former President Benito Suarez. After the end of the Civil War in 1865, the U.S. began aiding Suarez. Following this, French troops slowly began to withdraw from Mexico. Cut short, Maximilian's empire, which he initially tried to liberalize, collapsed. He was arrested and executed by a firing squad on June 19, 1867. Maximilian was just 34 years old and died without ever managing to liberalize and reform his empire. His body was brought back to Vienna and was interred in the imperial crypt. 
Maximilian's wife Carlotta had returned to Europe earlier and withdrew herself from public life. She began suffering from a mental illness and died in 1927, 60 years after Maximilian. Franz Joseph's next younger brother was Archduke Karl Ludwig. He was born at Schönbrunn Palace on July 30, 1833 and was named Karl Ludwig Joseph Maria. An archbishop himself was appointed by Karl Ludwig's mother in order to make sure that her son would be raised to become a devout Catholic. From young Karl Ludwig's diary entries, we today know that he was a family man, loving both his parents and his siblings dearly. He was especially attached to his mother, who was, unusual for those times, close to her children. Karl Ludwig was appointed Stadtholder of Tyrol by his brother Franz Joseph in 1855. During this time he lived in the Ambras Castle. His service there ended with the adoption of the so-called October Diploma and the following February Patent of 1861, which would have positioned Karl Ludwig below the Imperial Council. While still a stadtholder, Karl Ludwig married his first wife, Princess Margaretha of Saxony, in 1856. The couple, however, never had any children, and she died of typhoid fever two years later. Four years after her early death, Karl Ludwig married Princess Maria Annunziata. Despite Maria being in fragile health throughout their marriage, she bore him four children. She died in 1871, aged only 28. Karl Ludwig married his third and last wife, Infanta Maria Theresa of Portugal, on July 3, 1873. From this marriage, Karl had two daughters. The Archduke was a patron of the arts and science and also hosted balls representing the imperial family. After his nephew Rudolf committed suicide in 1889, Karl Ludwig became the heir presumptive to Franz Joseph. Karl Ludwig remained a devout Catholic for the rest of his life. This ultimately might have contributed to his death. On a trip to Palestine and Egypt, he drank from the Jordan waters. The contaminated water caused an infection, of which he died a few months later in May 1896. Upon his death, his eldest son, Franz Ferdinand, became the heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. However, he was assassinated in Sarajevo, sparking the outbreak of the First World War. In the end, it would be Karl Ludwig's grandson, Charles, who became what would be the last Austro-Hungarian emperor. Karl Ludwig's widow, Maria Theresa, lived to 1944, when she died aged 88. Lastly, we have the youngest brother, Archduke Ludwig Victor. He was born at the Hofburg Palace on May 15, 1842, and named Ludwig Victor Joseph. After his elder and only sister died at only four years old, his parents wished for another girl. As a result, Hetsi, as he was called within the family, was born two years after her death. As the youngest of four boys, he was spoiled by his mother and spent a lot of time with her. His mother loved to dress Ludwig Victor in different costumes and let him perform in them. As usual, Ludwig Victor, as an Austrian archduke, received a military education and began his career in the Imperial Army. Eventually, he was appointed General of the Infantry. In 1861, he was sent to Salzburg to act as a representative of his brother, the Emperor. Around the same time, he began the building of the palace Archduke Ludwig Victor in Vienna. After the completion of the building, he would often invite the imperial couple and other notable people over for dinners and balls. You would also frequently find him visiting the opera and the theater. Ludwig Victor was known for his ironic and cynical comments at court. This, however, led to him becoming quite unpopular with some of his family members. One of them was his sister-in-law, Empress Elizabeth, with whom he initially shared a close bond. Ludwig Victor was also close to his brothers. When his elder brother, Karl Ludwig, was dying, he stayed at his bedside and never left him. Ludwig Victor was openly homosexual. Despite his family tolerating his sexual orientation, they gave him the nickname Luzi Wuzi. Franz Joseph initially accepted the minor scandals Ludwig Victor caused, provided they did not cause too much of a damage to the Habsburg family. 
The last straw, however, for Ludwig Victor was when he was slapped in the Vienna bathhouse by another guest. Franz Joseph then ordered his brother to leave Vienna. Ludwig Victor settled at Klesheim Palace near Salzburg. He withdrew himself from public life and began giving a lot of his money to charity. In his last years, he suffered from dementia. Ludwig Victor died on January 18, 1919, two months after the downfall of the monarchy. He was the last of the four brothers to die.